All right, welcome back. Today I got a new transfer case motor. Put on the 07 F150. Uh, all you need is something to remove the wire and harness, 10 mil on a ratchet, a pair of needle nose pliers for the clip that holds the pins in on the plug, and a flathead to pull them out. And then you want to clean up the mating surface where this will sit around the transfer case housing and put a little bit of gasket maker on that just to make sure everything stays dry. So first thing you can see is on the back of this plug, there's two bare wires or two holes for wires. There's two wires coming off the tail housing of the transfer case that you're going to have to pull out of the old plug and put back into this one. And that's pretty simple. If you look down inside the plug, you can see there's little tabs right there along the side of it. If you pull that tab away from the pin, you can slide the pin out the back of the plug. So that's how you get the old pins out from the transfer case harness and put them into this plug. It's just a lot easier to show it on the bench than it is under the truck. And then there's a retainer clip that holds all those in so those pins can't loosen themselves out or anything over time while you're driving. So, as you can see, there's three bolts around here that hold the motor to the transfer case and then a bracket on the back to support it. And this is the Dorman part number. I got off Rock Auto. So now we'll climb under the truck and we'll get it all unbolted, unplugged, and pull those two wires out and get them put in our new harness. All right, so we're down here, driver's side of the transfer case. You can see on the back side of this plug, you have your little clip that you have to remove, and then just a little push tab on the clip. You can pull that apart. And then if you look inside the clip, that's the little red tab you have to pull out to keep the pins retained. You can just grab that with a pair of needle nose pliers, pull it straight out. It doesn't matter if it gets flipped around, it goes in either way. So then once we have that out, we want to grab our little flathead screwdriver. And we can, you can see those two wires come off of the tail housing. On the newer models, the same idea, but there's just one wire. So you just have to keep in mind the brownish wires in the corner and the black ones above it. So you know, if you don't get those mixed up. So if you look in underneath, you want to put slight tension pulling outward on the pin, release your lock and tab, and then it slides right out. You can see it's a round pin, so you don't have to orient it in any particular direction to get it back in. Do the same with the second one. Like that. It can be kind of a pain to get from under the vehicle. So. Now that harness is detached, just kind of push either end of that out of the way. Hopefully they stay out of the way. And then I already got the bolts loosened off and you can see on the top, that's how your bracket is held on for your plug. I'll set that to the side, pull these other two bolts out. And then, if your motor's been on there for 17 years or so, like mine has, you want to just get a little pry on it. Come off quite easy. And then you can pull it. And you can see if you were stuck in too high, then you can just put the new motor on. Alright, well, my camera froze up on me just after I got this off. So I lost some of that footage there, but you can see the shape of that hole there. It's almost an arrow. And on the transfer case itself, there'll be a marking for, like on 
aside it's two wheel drive, four high and four low. If you're stuck in two wheel drive, the new motor will come set for two high. So you just pull it off, clean it up, put a little bit of sealing around it and put the new one on. If you're stuck in four high or four low, you'll need to put the vehicle in neutral and get all the load off the drivetrain. And then you should be able to turn just by hand the arrow so it faces towards too high because you don't want to plug this in and try and shift this to get it to line up to the transfer case. So you want to set it back to too high and then the procedure for putting these on is you want to put these bolts in by hand. Make sure these two nuts on the side for the bracket are loose and put the other bolt in for the bracket by hand. And then you torque these three bolts first to 89 inch pounds. You'll torque this bolt after to 89 inch pounds and then after that you can retighten your bracket. And then that's all you have to do to get it back on. And then you'll see the clips that hold the plug onto the, that bracket are held onto this plug. So you'll also want to take this off and put this into the bottom of your new plug. You can see where the holder is for it and that kind of shows you how it's held on. So you just take your little flathead screwdriver and pry it up a little bit and then push it back. Now that we got our clip back on here, we'll take our two wires again, flip that around and you see you have the two holes. So the black one went to the top, slide that in until you hear that click and then the brown one was in the corner. Same idea. Slide that in. Hear the click. Put our retainer back in. Slide that until it clicks. And back in the tab. That. So when I bought the truck it was stuck in too high and then I somehow got it into four high and it was stuck there and it wouldn't shift so now you just turn the knob there you got four high turn it again it'll take a second we got four low back to four high back to two-wheel drive so now our four wheel shift problem is solved. Uh, I hope this video was useful for you and stay tuned for some more.